Wagon Sports fans, welcome back to a very special episode of Getting to Know. Yeah. I'm your host, Joe Mai. I'm Rush. And this is the Sardat Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and everything sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, people. Before we get into today's interview, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment on the video and subscribe to the Sardat Sports TV. Please, do one more thing, though. At least 10 people, but ensure to get us six subscribers because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that you know how many subscribers we will have by the end of the day a lot a lot people were here to do an interview and i know you guys see the you know the, the thumbnail and the title i know you guys want to see what we're going to talk about with kyle we have kyle butler today bro and i can't say it's necessarily even an interview we're just going to have some reasoning and he's just the figure that's going to talk about all the things that we have I want to know about some international experience. I want to know how the trials them go. I want to know when people turn them back and shut the doors. I want to know all of that. So people, we're going to bring Kyle in soon. But um, really, I look forward to this. Uh, Kyle is here. So we're going to introduce Kyle to the stream and kick it off. Is it? No introduction. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the, by, the, by the way, Kyle, before we even get into it, congrats on, on the other side of this is a sports channel, but we see the waves where you make yeah. um, music, music wise. And it's clear that you're an entertainer, first and foremost. Yeah. Right? Respect, man. Thank you. And so, for sure. Thank, and thanks for being here. We know so you're a busy man. We've been trying to get Kyle for the last couple of days, but if you're not there training him, they're still there. If you're not the this him and the that, you get me? So that's the type of person. Yes. Always up early, always at work, always I make things happen. So. Thanks for making time for the show at Sports TV, bro. There we go. Anytime. All right. First of all, I, I said this to Kyle off the stream. Let me say it so the people can hear. People, this is not a getting to know Kyle Butler. We're not going to talk about Kyle prep school and we're not going to do all that. We're going to talk about the football. This is Mr. Kyle Butler. Yeah. Let's start football in Jamaica when you were around playing under 13, yeah, right? Yeah. Before all the bad yeah. stuff like that. Talk, talk to me about that. You know, playing football for. Tell me about the club. Tell me about the situation that was happening right there before all of Europe coming to play. Um, yeah, man. So we did start. I started out my first time playing football when I was about say, four or five. Um, me and my dad just did over shot to the play football, play football, and then I was playing prep school in about grade one or two with Stella Maris Prep, and I made a lot of friends and. I was watching a lot of Ronaldinho videos, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Because he was a big inspiration as to why I started playing football. Um, and I wanted to be like Ronaldinho, so I tell my dad, yo, I could train and things. So as we were training, my friends came, and then more of my friends came, and more of my friends came, more of my friends came, and then people from the Shortwood area came in, and then that's how the new Phoenix start. Yeah. So we entered, our first season was by Shortwood FC, Mm -hmm. uh, I was about six or seven playing under thirteen, and we did read, we did well. I think we went to hey, the quarter time. Where's the where's the where's the? It was about six or seven playing under thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's from them time that we were playing big man. Like when I was ten, me I play under twenty. Mm. Um, did well. Um, it was. Phoenix right throat and we did go med for us. We were at Stony Hill Phoenix. Um yeah. That was a journey from that. But I played as I said, tender age man play at all youth levels. Me and Chippy. At what point did it know say like you yeah, have ball? Because obviously I love football, but at what point did you know say a yeah, ball? Because the difference between loving football and being a ball, you get yeah. at what you point? Know, can I tell you a story? You see my first year in prep school, and I say, yo, that money is sick. No, you know, that money is way better than me. <laughs> and you see the next year, I don't know how my turn passed or no, but them time the man shift, 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 shift. <laughs> see, man, man, take on them. So it's like, at that point, I know, so yo, I have something, something special, you know? So I thought it was seven. Yeah, like seven, seven, eight. Same time, I knew that I had a passion for it and I had something special, isn't it? Yeah, and you always knew that you wanted to be a footballer from them time, or you knew I'd be something else? No, man, it was, it was football from them time. As I said, I was inspired early from a lot of YouTube videos and 
CD. It was actually CD them time. My father did buy up some holy football CD. I would either watch it. Come, we just, we just, we just there to ask you know. I was just about to ask. Um, is it a, is it a case where, is it a case where Kirk Butler would have in, inspired you to get into football, or is it a case where you were the one who allowed Kirk Butler to be Kirk Butler he is today? No, ma, you know my father very passionate about football, so he used to play in, in the Masters League, right? Yeah. And he would have bring me to the game, so I would have been watching him play and all that time. Would have scored some free kick with any foot. He would have said, Kai, which which foot you want me to kick this with? Left or right? I would have said left. And he said, Where? We said upper left hand corner, I want us boss it. <laughs> score. Yeah. So, How's that you? As I, yeah, that was when I was a kid, baby. So he was playing. So even all of us, even Chippy, everybody get to watch him play. So mm. When he did fit, man, he's active, man, believe. Yeah. <laughs> anywhere on the park, center, striker, anywhere. So, my dad had a main part of why I started in football, and he was also an inspiration to me as well. Mm-hmm. That's the why I kept going as well. All right, and what are some of the things that you accomplished locally? You know, at that level? Um... At where? At which level? Young youth level? Yeah, yeah, man, before, before leaving. leaving. Before leaving. Before yeah, leaving. Man, we win everything, man. Everything you can think of. We win under 13, under 15, under 17, under 20. Um, we we'll never yet drop out less than semi-finals. Hmm. You see me? Um, we we'll keep our own little um, ceremony where dad will give out trophies to us yeah, yeah. um also when Kastafa did their first one that's where chippy won everything um throughout all levels um, i was topping assists in every year um yeah and then i left to europe when i was 12. Yeah, and you mentioned that that initially you did you were a dribbler you know a person who would carry the ball at what point did you um start to identify that you have the gift of vision and started to focus right. on creating. So my dad's system is very similar to how Mona play with like you see how Tio would have played? Yeah. yeah. Where he would have tread the needle. I was playing that role at that time. I would have like very fast and powerful players up front like Romario Williams. You remember him? Yeah man. Yeah, yeah him he and, and Sharky. Mexico and other sticker. Yeah, him. it was him and Sharky did a play forward for our team. So my father just put me behind him and said, Yo, send true pass. <laughs> and then from that, I just start develop my, my passing range and vision for the game and all of that. So, so you, you think your vision came naturally or it was taught by your father? Are you naturally, thinking? for sure. Naturally, for sure. You can't teach vision because even yeah. with, the, with the kids here, at Phoenix, it's not something you can teach. You can't, you know. Yeah, it's either you see it, or it, it has to come natural. Yeah, it's All very right. rare you find a player that can pick them passes. Yeah, very rare. True. Yeah, very man. Rare. That's a, it's, but, either, it's either as a footballer, it's either you see it or you just don't see it on the pitch. You know, and after exactly. you watch the game, you say, "Oh, never see that pass there." You know, it's so exactly. hard. Vision, vision is a weird thing. All right, as a youth now, what time you go to Europe? What, what age you go to Europe the first time? I go to Europe when I was um, 12, when they played my first year at Pepsi. I was a captain. I would have got mm-hmm. the finals, but when they lose to JC, mm-hmm. um, I was playing with Martin Davis too yeah. at that time, the same year. So, um, yeah, at that age, I went to Europe. I went to Austria. Austria was the first step, Salzburg. Yeah. <sighs> And bro, the cold wall were better come. I tell you, we never have nothing like it. I swear, nothing waited. Hold on, Kyle. Bros, then. Before we reach Astra, as a youth, mm-hmm. as a 12, 11 year yeah, old, yeah, your yeah. father looked by you and said, yeah. Yo, you have to leave, Georges. We know you just meet some youth, you say your friend and then a baller. But where are you going? You know, no, man, a 12 year old, you probably have a little girlfriend. You probably have a little girl, I too. I remember <laughs> in the East. And then, like, bro. puppy thing. So, <laughs> Mr. Butler looked by you yeah, and said, Yo. I did have my first girlfriend around them time, but right. from a tender age, we, we did always know the, the, the value of sacrifice. You know, like if, if you want anything good, you have to sacrifice and work hard to get it. So it, was a, it wasn't a hard decision for us to leave 
and say, yo, we're going to go to Europe and make the way for the youth there. You see me? Uh, and plus, definitely, I'm say, I tell you that every day as well, you know. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. so we are going to Europe, we are going to England, we are... I swear the man manifests everything, everything. <laughs> man? Uh, even before, even before you continue, can you speak about that? And there's, there's a, a, a story where um, one summer, you get me, I say? My father yeah. didn't want me. My father didn't want me to work for the summer. Mm -hmm. He didn't want me to work. And that, that summer day, the first summer I ever worked, the first summer I'm not playing about him, he didn't want me to work. But that same um, spring that we meet a girl and I couldn't wait to enjoy the summer with, with this new girlfriend. Yeah. And my father said, Yo, bro, you have to just work. You get me? I said, You just never can play the way you want. Yeah, so that's and me, I did not want to make that sacrifice. Even though obviously, <laughs> yeah. a couple of years later, I realized it worked out for the better. I never wanted to do it. If if my father never did provide housing God, and food for me, God go with him. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. So is, is, it a, is it a case where you know you were forced to make certain sacrifices, or you just understood that I just saw the badness come down, as the mother said? I don't know, man. We did understand that, man. Cause I don't know if we got any Phoenix train. Like after training, we always have them long talk there eh, with the youth, them and just so them understand what it takes to. To make the next level and my dad was doing the same thing for us back then so it was strictly football like even though me did have a little girlfriend it's like it wasn't nothing <laughs> you know? easy for cut all right yeah, so, 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 so so the, the, the point where i'm, where I'm looking at so kyle leon we're going to europe like what was the journey yeah. leading up? how long before you flew out did you know you get me say, and and what was the journey leading up to this? You did tell your friend. No, man, you must tell us we were going foreign for a long time, you know, from we about eight, nine, you know. And <laughs> you see me? Well, no, but, you must tell us from them time there. So, so I, I was new. So, like, uh, my like, dad what? is like this. He will, he will say this. I'm telling you straight. He will say, Chippe, I go sign for Real Madrid next year. Yeah. And I swear to God, maybe it maybe not come next year, but two, three years from now. Hear them speak. And it will make it public too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, so like, yeah. so like, the visa, the visa then come through or whatever, whatever. Two, two, or three weeks. Um, that was the first. Through. Yeah, that's that's what, the um what? first one. They get a visa from the German embassy. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was when we were younger, but that's you know reach all it was more difficult and then ticket buy and them thing they did tell a friend them or you did tell the girl where they talk to i about. didn't know for sure because when i tell you see because you know used to tell me from long time we never know <laughs> <laughs> you're the you're you're man all right you're <laughs> man. Monday morning. We just packed my bag to go to school monday morning most of the judge is in europe <laughs> Yeah, All right, so. bro. It's not until we drive go to the airport. Then ja, ja. It, yes, it, it, yeah. ev everybody really believes I uh, really leave in this crazy. Time. So like one day you just on your way to Manly and you say, Yo, this is it. Damn. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All right. So you reach a Europe now. You say Lana Austria first. Um any now yes. eleven year twelve year old, you would have experienced a culture shock. Whether with the food, the, the temp, the weather, whatever, the experience that for me. The first time you reach and you say, What the hell is this? Definitely the weather from as bro a piece of breeze. No man rush and, and you can tell them a story about the first time you would actually Yeah, Kyle, like, all right. While Kyle while Kyle saw the yeah. The first time each other region. I mean I tap on a winter. Uh Kyle Kyle traveled in the winter. You would have traveled in the spring. Yeah, the bro. Spring probably me. Yeah. First time me I travel. Boston we learn. The, the airport. Step out of the airport region. Literally, as I step out of the airport, more and step back inside of the airport. I mean, I thought about a summer approach now. Yeah, it's, like, it's supposed it, to be warm. It wasn't even freezing. It was like probably the springtime. Probably yeah. 12 degrees, 13, 14, But you know, so I never said I was going to come here still. No, at, at no point. It was like, yeah, But no. at that point, you were like, bro, this, could, is, this is not fun. Could, 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 a, could a place actually get this cold? Yeah. Because at that time, it was coming like freezer. Yeah. Like, it coming like, it felt. That was the first time I was traveling. So early in the year, normally me I travel, and normally me I travel in the south, yeah, Florida or whatever. That's the first time I travel, but not east. First time I travel before summer. That was not fun. Step out at the airport at Boston, Logan, and felt, and I was like, it literally felt like there's opening a fridge, like no AC has ever felt. Like like what? Eight o'clock. 
Yeah, in the in the in the evening, the night. Right. No AC has had ever felt that cold. Before. I honestly didn't know that I would ever feel. That was the coldest I ever felt in my life. Yeah. Obviously, I feel colder than that. You Afterwards, felt since. they get me. I said, but that was so hard, man. And you know, we were in the cold for another. What two hours? Yeah, just, yeah, just out the, man, it was weird, man. So I can't experience a Kyle when I, I can't, you know, understand what Kyle would experience in Austria in the winter time, you know, freezing. Man, me I probably say, yo, you know, some more homes still. No, man, because cold and really something I'm loving. You know? Me I probably look for my father and say, yo, you're sure. And then with the additional problems to them, now no money, man, I feel yeah, I work. Man, I tell a tell Kyle's story for you. But man, in, with everything else that is to come. Yeah. Why well, the money a chang? I have to respect it. For sure, um, for sure. People, for we, are, sure. we are getting in contact with Kyle and, and forward back. Can't. Everything up. All right. Yeah, man. The, so, 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 Kyle, um, while, while you went and, and changed the voice, um, we were telling the story about the first time when, when, when we travel. Obviously, for different reasons, of course. But we stepped out of the airport in Boston in the spring. So, it was about 14 degrees. Yeah. And it was probably the coldest we had. Uh, we have ever been to that point, like 14 degrees Celsius. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, may I freeze? And we're virgin. cold, finger them, numb, nose around water, everything. And I was only 14 degrees. So you were at getting out of the plane in Austria, where it was way colder than 14 degrees, I can imagine. It was like negative 10, I think. Negative oh. 10. And, I, and I bro, a piece of breeze with it, and then <laughs> we just look for each other. I said, and... <laughs> that was the first thing, and then like the food, bro. The food never tastes good, none at all. And then we did a stay in some shitty hotel. You know, it just did, just did rough. Now you know them hotel there were like people are sleeping at the room them too. The hostel them call them. Hostel, yeah. I guess it's that. They so bro, some like shit hotel from. Was it? Was it you? Was it you? Was it you, Kyle? Was it you and Leon and Craig alone? And Sharky. Mm -hmm. And Sharky. Just, just, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, boss. All right, so, so first, first, first thing, you come out for the plane. More you, um, because nobody now going to know them thing. More yeah. you, you reiterate to us. You came out of the airport in Austria. I'm sure that, that we should have done the research. I'm sure I know the international airport in Austria. Yeah. You Vienna. know the airport in Austria? Vienna. Name? Oh, Vienna. Vienna. Right. We land in Munich. Oh, yeah, in <laughs> Munich. In Germany. Yeah. And then we'd, we'd, we'd take the train and go, I think, somewhere, I don't remember. I think it's Vienna we'll take the train to. And then from Vienna, we'll take the um, train to Salzburg. And bear in mind, we don't know nothing what we are doing now. We yeah. ask people questions, they can't speak English, or they're not, they not, they not talking with we. One bugger thing from. Because yeah. three or four black people. Four black people with beer, big bug. Because we have a suitcase them with we had a travel. And my father now I said talk about him now carrying a suitcase. So one of we have to take turns with feeding back them. I feel yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And bear in mind, is it if you even get to the football field them from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like you don't know if you ever go like watch them show there with the big feel them. You have to walk across them big feel there with mud. Farm feel in a farm, the free each other in a car. We are walk foot go everywhere in a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Brother, we have to walk through something about a good six miles from just reach of the field with the back then. I <laughs> you know you're not going. Like, you know, I, something that, yeah, you know, I know how you're up with now go. Yeah, like at that point, at that <laughs> yeah, point yeah. You, you left Jamaica in the river, you yeah. yeah. went forward. No, we just cool the rest of my life. Or, exactly. or, 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 or was it a plan where oh, we're spending six months and we're going yeah. back to Kingston? Or was it a case where we're just going to do this shit until we make it? We never know how long we're going to be there. We just know so we have to make it. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. All right. And, and so we know how the living situation go at the start. Tell me how you get your first trial. The first trial where you go. Tell first me, trial, we we'll never yeah. have no child, Carl. <laughs> <That's laughs> we we'll never have no child. Let me tell you how we get we get a chance. So... We, got, we, we just say, oh, we we'll go to Red Bull, Salzburg, um, Akedo, we just go there. So we went there, what they were doing, they had, I don't know, they had like players from all over the region trying out on that day. Yeah. What a coincidence. Mm -hmm. so, so we go to the coach or the man in charge and say, yo, <laughs> come from Jamaica, what, what, what a tryout, you know, straight up. One said, no, go on, we go, Ray, Ray, Ray. 
So my, this is what my dad did now. They had like many fields. So my father just get up, cow they buy a ball. Father just tell us, say, you watch now. Just do some drills. <laughs> But then they had to some long passes, some skills, and rare, rare, rare. The same guy come back and say, Watch, you know, we give you a chance. Fam, I swear, when we get the chance, bro, the man in us are run around with me, yeah. Chicky Shark. Look a white man named Fam, man in us. It was so cold, we finger them and burn with, we tore them and burn with. I swear, Chippy the Eva ball to him hand him frozen for man cam. Yeah. You see me? And we just said, it's a culture shock for me. They just mm -hmm. rock hard for me. And be yeah. remember for walk back in the cold weather there and rain a fall and hail a fall, everything. Go back to the yard with disappointment. You see me? Right. Yeah, and, and... Be in mind when I on a try a little. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? The, so at any cool. point, obviously you were young. You were young, yeah. but I bet you were a smart young kid. At any point, you ever look and say, oh, what the hell be for the right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, no. At any point, you ever like wonder if 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 you really carry out a stuff come free to the death for no reason? No, because but we never know exactly what go on. We never know saying a child never debut until hmm. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. I hear it. So we do think that everything are gone. But as I say, it's a man where we will wing it more while. And it come. just work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know the man, they were just, no, just do something and it just work. You know the song, yeah. Intense versus Intense versus Tashan. Yeah, but I know what you're doing. Tashan, I look at him and say, oh, what are you doing? Anything, you do, anything you we say, do you work? I swear, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so just something like that. All right. More know about the trials, them now. Tell me about the one them we start work now. Because obviously that one, they never work. All you right, go so we, we just start ask if we meet somebody in the bus, for example, or train or wherever. We we'll ask them, yo, you know any football clubs in the area? And we we'll just then we we'll just say, all right, and if over here, Grudig over here, we we'll just take a bus, walk through the field, go over there, beg them a try out, mm -hmm. and that's where things started doing well. Cause we started doing well at those at those um clubs. Mm -hmm. Is it until we end up go to every single club in Austria? Goodness. You see me? Until we um say all right, then we go and play a season by Anif. And we played a season with Anif, we mash it up so much that Red Bull themselves come back and say, All right, we want them you to. You see me? But, but how 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 to get to Anifo? Like you try out with them and then what? Them start them loving the first try out and just kill it. Yeah, 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 man, yeah, man. From the first time, them did love it because um, we were like twelve and thirteen, and Sharky was fifteen. I did a train with like the U seventeens. You see, man, we did really do well there. So I mean, immediately then we call with the next day and tell to come back and come back and come back and come back. And with the other teams, it was a similar situation. And how far, how for how, how long into the trip were you guys now? How long by by this time you guys were in Austria for about, about a good two months, three months in now by then. So every every day on the train? Yeah man, we train every day. We walk go training every day. I pick apple, I pick corn. Cause we never you know, money yeah. never really did it like that, so we don't forget the nutrition from so <laughs> So you you being you being a kid, um like we can say it, a relatively sheltered kid. Your father was in a, a good job, you go prep school, so on yeah. and so forth. Uptown, you when you're in Jamaica, we know mm -hmm. say never hungry, you never want, right? Yeah. You live in to, 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 to a different country now. And mm -hmm. essentially you're poor. You're broke. So how 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 did you cope with that in that new environment? Um the same thing is though, me grow different, you know. Um, even though Muda said uh, uptown or anything like that, Muda spend a lot of time with the people I mean, at the inner city. So like, me I go party, I come on from me about nine. Me I sleep, I come on, me I sleep, I cassava piece, a chippy, me I sleep. I... And they're all over the place. So like, I wasn't the regular uptown youth. And even now, it's like, I can't fit in anywhere. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. why it worked for me to call. You know, they don't just see me as a rich white youth to come try to do a thing or nothing like that, isn't it? So, so, as, so as, as, much as, as much as you guys, you know, never have it, 
But yeah, yeah. when I was coach, I basically so when you, you get there we didn't know for tug it out and, and hold out and it's and it just football, we just love football, we just play every day, every day, every day. So it wasn't really we never did a pre the circumstances or nothing like that. We just did want to make it, we just want to make it so we know so we have to sacrifice. We have to go through the hard, hard part. Right? We didn't know All right. that. All right, so now the next part of the talk, we're going we're to talk about some clubs where you go to and, and what happened there. But first, what's the mm -hmm. hardest thing? Before we move on to the clubs and the playing career, what's the hardest thing Kyle Butler had to deal with? Not even just the family and the group, you know. You as a, mm -hmm. as a you. What's the hardest thing you, you, you've had to deal with in Europe? And hopefully we can get Leon and Sharky on the show. In Europe? Yeah. Overall? Yeah, yeah. Um, politics. The politics? Yes, the politics in football. Um, there is always a court son, there is always a man who I pay behind the door, there is always a different man. So like, for you to get a chance is not always clear cut, mm -hmm. you understand? So that's, to me, I don't know, racism is there as well because they want to want them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Worse than Jamaica, the, the, the politics and the corruption worse than in Jamaica? Oh, Just curious to know. So, right. um, it's deeper. It's yeah. deeper than that is a different type of politics. Like Jamaican people is trying to sell their players so they can put f funds in them pocket. Then yeah. Monday is trying to protect their own and also um, make money. It's not, no, no, it different. It's a different yeah. politics. You know, it's, yeah, it's just hi history and yeah. just mindset and all of them things. You know? All right. Could talk about some club now. So after you leave, you leave, and if you went to Genk under 21, right? No, man, not straight. I was in the Genk Academy. So yeah. I was in U15, U16, and U, U17, piece of U17 there before we got out. All right, speak to me about that Genk experience. You know, you and, you and Leon in Genk are doing it together. Speak to yeah. me about it. All right, so the first time we'd go Genk, you know, this is the trial part, you know, because we'd go pan trial for getting a Genk. Yeah. You know, we drive nine hours from Salzburg to Genk in a Belgium. You know, yeah. in a car full of luggage, full of brother who could have barely moved in on the car. The car is a little pigeon, mm. little old pigeon where we broke down power. But we drive the nine hours and we reach. I to go straight into training there. Brother, the Genk you them technical, them technical card, them have some skill sets where I say, what the hell them money I do? Yeah, that's what I say. It was crazy, but um, the first couple of days, what I liked about Genk was uh, was and the Belgian is they have more of a family atmosphere and more of a mixed culture. So you'd have Moroccans there, um, Turkish people there, Africans there. Uh, we were the only Caribbean people there, but still, it was more of a family atmosphere and a different culture and mindset. Whereas to Austria, it was just straight cold cut. German, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nazi way, so it was it was like that. Um, you had Michel Ribeiro, which is an excellent technical coach that helped us a lot when we were there, teach us the skills and things. When we go home, we'd practice them as well, because at first when we could do them none at all. You know, um, the first day we went as well was a physical test. <laughs> we had to do a deep test. And yeah, just, we did yeah. well. Yeah, man, we pass, man, we do well and thing. And we did play a couple of games, Chippy score, score a couple. Um, me, the score in my practice game as well. Because I was playing a year ahead and Chippy was playing a year ahead. That's the thing with Europe, too. Um, you have to be way better than them. So even when they're testing you, they put yeah. you a year older. Mm. Just see if you can. Oh, you uh, have to work it. Yeah, you have to work it. So. Yeah, we did do well there. However, Sharky was a different style of player because Belgium is a lot of touch player and Sharky is really brute force. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they never really interested in him at, at that club. But it was me and Chippy that they was interested in. So me and Chippy went straight into the academy, moved everything from us, from Anif, come over. Um, it was good. We got a, had a nice little house. We went to school there, learned Dutch. Um, you know, meet different type of girl, different type of food. Um, 
training every day. What I like about their school system is that in Jamaica, it's heavily emphasized on, oh, education is the key to success. Mm -hmm. Their school system is designed for you to be whoever you want and for you to achieve whatever you want at whatever level. So if you're good with your hands, mm -hmm. they have a, you have a whole different system for you. For, um, thing there. If you're an excellent athlete, they have something named Top Sport, which is like all the best athletes in the region go to that school, train in the morning, go to school in the evening, then go training again. Yeah, like them, yeah. have that, them have that system going on. So like, it's not a surprise. It's not in the youth them head. Say, oh, if you don't make it in, a ed if you're not educated, then you're not gonna make it in a life. Cause you have the ones that are less, say, you're gifted academically. And you know, I build yeah. house and all of them thing there. From, yeah. I learned to do that from them time. So like. It's way different and way better. And as an athlete, you're training way more. You yep. see me? I train 11 months out of the year. You're training at the morning before you go to school. You go to school after that. And then you're training at the evening again. So, yep. like, if you're training so much at, at a top level, at a top education, you're going to get better. You're going to get more football educated as well, as well as academically and more rounded. So, it was an excellent experience for me. I loved Genk. I loved the um the academy and the system that they had. You know, unfortunately, we did have to leave to Ajax because it was a good opportunity for us there as well. Because mm -hmm. uh, we weren't of the age where we could assign a professional yeah. contract as yet, so we had to leave and um sort out of paperwork and come back. All right. So before we get to the Netherlands, before Ajax and before back to Jamaica, um, the, the, you arrived in Munich. About mm -hmm. how long ago between coming out that playing in Munich and being at Genk and comfortable? How long would you have been in Europe at this point? I would have I went to Genk when I was fourteen. Mm. So about two years. Yeah, about two years. And um tell us how your feelings gradually evolved towards the trip, towards the journey. So obviously right there it was for lack of a better term, it was hell. Football being the only saviour. And by the end of it, you know, you had appreciated the environment. At what point did it start to become bearable? At what point did you start to fit in? At what point did you start to become happy besides football? We're happy throughout any circumstances. Whether even when we are asleep in a train station for go to training a couple hours later, we are asleep in a park and empty you know, we're happy because we did have each other. You see, we all sleep at African yard pan cup pan, pan thing there for go to training, bro. Is it me? We, we, we go through it all from anything you can think. But we did have each other, and we weren't we weren't at an age, you'd have say, where we were thinking about comfort, we were thinking about money or nothing like that. We were at an age where we were just kind of playful, um, want to train and just uh, enjoy it. And as I said, we did understand from early say it had a heart. You see me? So it, it, it was good. We were always happy. We weren't depressed or anything, but it was hard. You know, the circumstances weren't, weren't the best. You see me? Uh, Even where we did live in a thing there, it was a one bedroom. I mean, and Chip and Chip on the couch together. So, I mean, it was good, really good. Oh, well, obviously, at that, that time you weren't thinking about it, but hindsight is 2020, as they say. How yeah. do you think this affected Craig Butler? Because he would have. Plus yeah, he, more I, him was going through it the most, and and sometimes you'd have you'd have seen him a warrior, or you know you could have tell that he was affecting him a lot. But as I say, he's a warrior. Him, him very strong minded and 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 determined. So I mean, if we if him and plus him had we as kids there that him can really fail. Mm -hmm. Is he mean can't really show weakness to we because if we see same week then it wouldn't make no sense. Is he me? So we did always find a way still and he must have he must have driving force for us as well. Before we continue, before we continue, for all of that, like send a message out to, to, to Mr. Butler for that little period of time because I can't imagine as, as a, a big, big man, man as, as, a, as a big man, man three no. youth, yeah, like being twenty four year old as a big <laughs> man right now, bro. But I imagine, and sometimes as parents, them, them do a lot to it. 
Like, where you just said to him for just that two year period, because that's probably the hardest two years of your life. Like, it's a hard one to ask the kids. Come on, God. I say it to him every day, every, 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 every time I get to show appreciation and, and gratitude to him for um, making that sacrifice to us so that we can achieve our dreams. There's not many parents that, 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 that do that or even around them kid pitney to give them the opportunity there. So I'm really grateful that I have a father like that too. To, you know, I made me actually want, put me on a path where I can play, do what I love and, and make me see my dreams. So like, yeah. amazing, man. All right. So after that stint at Genk and then at Ajax, you had to come back to Jamaica. And you know, Liam Bailey did an interview the other day and he spoke about this period while the guy, guys were here sorting out the paperwork. It was, it was extremely hard. I want you to speak about that from your perspective. Um, it, was, it was really stressful. Why? Because we had a lot of delays because of the visa. Mm -hmm. Getting back because like, we go every embassy out here, we get blocked. Right? Mm -hmm. We had to go to Cuba. We had to go to Suriname. We had to go to Guyana. We had to go any everywhere possible fam. I remember Cuba Nana internet. Cuba Nana um nothing like that fam. So we just did it. Food tastes like shit where I get sick. Is it me? And it's not one time we go to Cuba, we have to go there like two, three times. Just mm -hmm. to get um get the visa. Yeah and, and when I, when I, when you guys were going to the embassies in Jamaica, what was the story? What was being told? Why were you guys not receiving the visa? We wouldn't, I don't think that we would know because it was, it would be said to us yeah. directly. However, what was on the, the paper, you would have seen like um, blocked because of, you know, certain reasons or don't trust the integrity of this person, blah, 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 shit like that. Is it me? So, um, we would know because we I get fired from long time, you know, we don't know where that come from. All right, my, my question is regarding the homecoming. You guys would have to be um, re reintegrated into the school system. You know, you'd have met up with friends that you'd have left about two and a half years ago. How was the homecoming like? How did people receive Kyle and Leon upon their return? To Jamaica? All right. When we're learning, you know, I'm going to tell you, nobody never knew. No, nobody at all was expecting us to come. So when we learn, everybody got linked their mother and thing and surprise them. Brother, everybody mother was frightened and start ball at what we got thing because remember so we leave at little youth and come back yeah. as teenagers so it's like a whole different person then come and see you see me so um we went to a manning cup game i was like what the f what is this <laughs> this is real this is you understand yeah, yeah. i said yo and all our friends them did the other game and say yo man say yo the money not ready that that's when we knew that the mm -hmm. level at europe is way higher than 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 than, than jamaica from like if you watch a u10 u11 game in europe from compared to a morning cup game from you'd see a, a different level of thinking different level of technical ability all of that from so we know what it takes or what the level is, at least. Is it think, what people going crazy for out here, believe me. Do you think the Manning Cup is better than, you know, like I said, this, cause this season, I think, me and Rush, you said that this is one of the better seasons that Manning Cup is. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Compared to, like, two years ago, I'm going to watch, I think, a JC and, you know, remember, somebody did a play finals. I was like, yeah. there's not one player that I found interesting. Mm -hmm. But now I'm seeing, like, some good, proper prospects you know like whisper is a ex supreme talent um i think blake is a good player i mean mona a couple good players yeah. so i mean it's got way better way way better yeah man so so the homecoming you know going back to school now you guys started back school um i'm not sure if you guys would have played at school but with some of your friends, like when you, when you get like teas and stuff, like oh, when I'm a ball or when I come back home because you couldn't make it, or like, yeah, man, no, a no man come to me and said, No, it wasn't no teas or nothing like that because we make everybody know we're only back for the um paperwork, yeah. You mean so 
and we were already in the system over there, so it wasn't like anybody thought that we had failed. Mm -hmm. But um, when we went to school, no, <laughs> we did have a little hairstyle, high, same way. And they must say, yo, bro, you're not true, man. Ray, ray, ray. How them you tell come to school with them height here, top, ray, ray, ray. And my father taught them, and they know, say, yo, it's an like image and ray, 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 Nike this and Nike that. So. But no, man, my friend them did good. And Ari Manning Cup, we did always, because me must say, you know, we come back and see Manning Cup, you know, we did know, say, it's a waste of time, you know. Yeah. Isn't so we found, say, yo, just training with Phoenix, and, you know, what we did was whatever training we had there, we just bring it back to Phoenix. So we just it was like we never leave. You see me? So like we did our own training, even personal training. Sometimes beef never even have to coach because we just had to run the training. Yeah, so that is why I can't coach now. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we we'll see it, we we'll see it. And last <laughs> la, last before man is over to the to Rush, because Rush and listener, I'm at the interview. Um what was what was it like adapting to the surfaces? Because we know so the surface we are playing in Europe is way better than your combat. Do you know the right. same kind of drills on these kind of surfaces? This, is, this is it, though. What people don't understand is that better fields have faster thinking. Fast. You understand? Yes. So it's not necessarily about the technical ability. You know? So people feel if you play on bad surfaces and you can control and all of that, you'd have better um, ball control. But in reality, you're playing way slower than than normal so yeah, we were yeah. used to playing faster but on this field it was like we slowed down a little bit but it was still a little faster than the average out here you see me so we did have to get adjusted and all of that but we were training on like football factory we did a train at concern spring so like when we wanted to do technical training we'll go to the astro turf and do the training there oh. all right let's bring it back to to the clubs now so you came back to jamaica got the paperwork started out um yeah. finally, finally going back to europe now um you guys went back to gang yeah no first step was slovakia that was the sister club. That was the sister club. Yeah, that's the that's the sister club. Yeah. First step would have been um Slovakia, Trenčín. That's the yeah. sister club at Ajax. Yeah. And um we got our our resident card there, and then we left after like maybe six months. Mm -hmm. I, I went to I went to Genk. Went straight into Genk. All right, um, this is where this is where you and Leon start the name start call now because obviously yeah. the, the first time in Genk it was just the juniors, whatever. But yeah. now you guys were, were playing with a big boy, you're under 21, still you know going closer to the going closer to pro, right? Because you would have been 15, 16, 17. No, man, I was I was 17, Leon was 18. Leon signed straight to the first team, yeah. I was with the um reserve, team. but let me tell you about the reserve team in, in, in Belgium. It is, um, you see, the players are not playing as much in the first team. Yeah. They, they are a part of that team along with the, the top players in, in, in throughout the academy, isn't it? Oh, so, all right. So, all right. yeah, he was in that team and Leon was in the first team. So all I had to do really was to do well and go up. All right. So at this point, Leon... Liam Bailey killed it instantly, you know, and, 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 you know, his first season was awesome at Genk. Um, you were right. in the, I'm you a, were I'm in the, tell you a, a story now. Yeah, man, go for it. No people don't know, so yo, Chippy, first 10 games, him not scoring, you know. Mm. Is him in, but he was playing really, 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 really well, like, really, really, really well until he starts score a goal and get into that, so. It's when now, him start doing well that and and social media keep asking what is going on oh leon you know yeah yeah at this point now you see leon i kill it you know the senior team what was going through your mind because i always want to know you know i was me asking the kyle about the now so never ask the question even mm -hmm. most people won't ask leon bailey standing out in the senior team just one year older than you you know you guys have been there side by side playing same playing, age playing group same age group now you see him make one step that you're not taking as yet 
How did you feel? I mean, it as, I see it as inspiration. I see him as a, as a role model. People can tell you. Leon, I'm a brother like that where like, I was at every single football game. I message him every, before every game. I make him know, say, go out there and play your best. For me and him, they're not the same house together. Me and him go everywhere together. You see me with it, ins- inseparable. So it's, well, I just saw it as um, inspiration, as a yeah. reason. I say, yo, we are come from the same place. Why not work hard and try to get there? And that's exactly what I did. So I mean, I tell you, I was, that, at that point, I was in the best shape of my life physically. You see me, I could have run 16 kilometers at ease, sprint, do 1,200 sprints per game. You see me? Yeah. And that's because I, I, I knew how much work I had to put in to, to get to the next level. And I see my brother doing it and achieving, and I wanted that for myself as well. You see me? But it was never a point where oh my bad mind or, or feeling away or nothing like it was never like that. It was always a supportive unit, family. You see me? Brotherhood. And 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 at no point would you say you feel like you're in Liam Bailey's shadows and that affect your football at all? No, what ha- what happened was is what I feel happened was that because Leon is a winger. And yeah. I'm a midfielder. People expected Leon from me. Oh. You understand? And he now go get that from me. I'm a yeah, 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 completely yeah. different player. It's like yeah, I expect Theo to do what Papa yeah. do. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, it's not like that. So, like, in comparison, sometimes people get it m- mixed up. You see, because even when I went to Genk the first season, they had me playing wing. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because they thought I was a winger. Yeah. And okay. it's not until time where that changed for me and I start playing behind the striker, number 10, and I score a bag of goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so the question that I want to take on, because Rush, Rush has been asking all the sensible questions, and I guess I'm the tabloid for today's um, interview. The celebrity that you guys would have started to garner in yeah. um, at, at Jink now. How did that, how was that life off the field like when you guys were both playing at a professional level right now? It's not academy, yeah. you were in the reserve team, Leon Bailey was in the first team, so you're both playing at, at a professional it level. Was, it was unreal from, you know, we walk in the city and where people are combo, autograph. Gotcha. What? Them trying to demand them here, well cream out and... Yeah, <laughs> well cream and well, 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 beer style and beer girl and... I did have my first car was a Benz drop top and after six months we buy a CLS and him have a Range Rover. And we just did a live life man. I tell you man, star life. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first gang right there was the first big money in the receiver out of football. Yeah. Right, big enough. Definitely. Definitely the gang was the first time we start making money. Yeah, man, because well, you playing at the reserve team at a fully fr- professional club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when, when Genk plays, like it's, a, it's an event. It's yeah. a big club, you know. Yeah, man. So I would assume that the, the, the celebrity are how did the celebrity impact life in the Caribbean or in Jamaica? Obviously, you guys are in Europe, but you'd still still have life at home. You'd still have family, you'd still have friends. What yeah, man. Changed? Mm. What changed was was at a younger age, we started to attract the wrong people. Mm. Yeah, we have this celebrity star life you now, and so like a bag of little, you know, wanna be friends start coming yeah. and all of that. So we, we we did I get caught up in it in reality? Cause mm-hmm. when I look at no one on, on on the things I did then, I would never do now. I would, that's how it evolved, though. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And, and and you guys did young. And you think that obviously now here in music, we'll get to that a bit later. But you think that has helped you now to manage your personal now in music, where it probably is even worse. You think that experience as a nineteen-year-old or eighteen-year-old um is helping you now as a twenty-four-year-old to manage personal. Yeah, man, my experience living in Europe in on a whole, you know, because you, you experience way different things. So, like, what people are boasting about here in Jamaica, it's, 
it's it's a joke thing. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's of no value. So, I mean, it's I'm a humble person, and I, and I understand what's important in life. Is it me? So your mind, your mind like, shedding shed light on some of the things them that you that as some little jubilee you get caught up in. If you're not too much, like what kind of things you say you know that get up to where you probably wouldn't. Have? Bro, first of all, Ben's Bima, the fake, fake designer, them, the man they wear out here. Yeah. Trust me, if you are wear a real designer, you have to have it. And I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see me um, traveling the world, eating at di- different type of food, meeting different people, meeting different women, um, experiencing just a different life, a different mindset, different culture. It's really carve you out and make you understand and think different yeah. you understand so i feel like that experience is is and football even how hard a footballer works and people yeah. think that people work hard when they go into normal business firm and they have the same work rate i'm telling you it, they they will surpass any any um normal person that is just doing a nine-to-five casually sure. all right when that first contract from gang is mm-hmm. put in front of you i don't know if you and leon, leon sign the same time but when that first contract drop on the table like you see the amount of food where they put in front of you what yeah. went through your mind one no, way i think as a youth as a 17 18 year old and did you convert to jamaican no i converted to jamaican yeah, but no, I just saw it as a both of those seats are right now. We can make with family good and Phoenix would have good and yeah, and, yeah. And, and we would have all right to could have get the nicer things in life at that time. You see me? So we they just really elated that the struggle that and all the fighters it slowly coming to an end, you know? Yeah. And and how did how did your mother react? That's that's something important that like, you know, I want, hopefully one day we'd get to ask Leon Bailey the same question. But when I ask you, can you? Yeah, one of them has no right. support, you know. You see me? There's nothing like a mother and son connection, you know, even yeah. a son and father, you know. You see me? It's different. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, they were elated. They were super happy for us. Um, You know, Leon and his mother really, really close in by our house and all of that, so. Is it me and my mother comfortable and well taken care of as well? So we're just really happy that we could have done that at that age, you know, 18, 19. Mm-hmm. People still in high school. Oh my people, goodness. Isn't it just a start yeah. college? So like 19, us. I get my first mining cup start. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I out there, I buy people house. <laughs> but we love it still. I would love to see we love to see you to make it. Um so you playing in the in the reserve team. I would assume you're playing at one of the biggest clubs in Belgium. Yes, I would assume that interest is interest from other clubs are coming at lower leagues, higher leagues. You know, um, what me choose some interest that came while you and Leon were playing for Belgium. Um, um, playing in Belgium. I, yeah, man, in Belgium, you know, um, the goal was always to make it to the gang first team, you know? and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. and the the trajectory was there because I was training with them as well, um, and. It's when like the bugger interest them from a bugger club with Leon. Mm-hmm. You see me? Um I also had some interest from other teams in the Belgian um mm-hmm. Pro League. Uh, yeah, even yeah. I had con I can show you a contract no. I can send to you that we never sign mm-hmm. from some of them. You see me? It's when all of that happened now where Leon wanted to leave in January, I believe, and Genk was ready for him to leave. Where mm-hmm. um where I said, all right then. I have to take a stand. So like I had to sacrifice my contract mm-hmm. uh, to make Leon go. You mm-hmm. see me? And then to all sour the whole care and the whole chaotic it was was um it was like a media campaign with me, with Leon, everywhere. So like most of the clubs that had offered me a contract was like, yo, no, 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 no I'll touch you cause 
all of that are going with you and you're gonna leave. So like me sacrifice my contract with me have another two year fund. You see yeah. me? And we reach at the end of the transfer window. Cause remember said that window there is only thirty days, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we did us um we found a club in in, 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 in Belgium named Westerlo. Yeah. And that's where I went for for another six months and played, but I was unhappy as hell. Yeah. And and you know if it's it again sacrifice. So you believe that if you had played those two two more years at Genk, Kyle, would that, we would be speaking to a different Kyle Butler right now. We wouldn't be speaking to the producer, we'd be speaking to the European. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, as I said, I was in the best shape of my life, physically and mentally, you know. But like what happened really took a toll on me mentally. Yeah, for sure. You see me? And More speak, than about, anything. speak about that. Those six months of football, just being unhappy. Like, uh, as I said, as men, we've all been there. You know, we have mm -hmm. a lot of responsibility, a lot of expectations on us. And yeah. sometimes things take toll probably and it, it affects you. You get me? I said, knowing that we can maximize our potential, we're probably not able to do so. Like, speak to us about how it was playing, being a professional football, but not being at your optimal mentally and how it affects your football. Um, It was. It was very, very difficult. Um, it never really affected my football on the pitch, but however, just like me going home, I was there by myself, because I lived by myself. Mm -hmm. um, not being happy, wanting to play at a higher level, and not getting the opportunity, even though you worked so hard and you did so well. That same season, cause half season, I scored like 16 goals, I have how much assists, you know, I have one bag of people are linked me and then I'm in, and what I get as a result of that is to go to a worse team, you see me? Mm -hmm. So like, it was just mentally difficult, you see me? And then what came after that was even worse. Mm -hmm. you know? So <laughs> if, we, if, we look on, if we look on the, I'm on transfer market right now and it's after Western Low, it's Malta, St. Andrews, then last in Austria. Then juniors, then last again, then juniors, then so yeah. what mature that you you're, you bounced around yeah, for a after minute. After West Palo. Speak to us yeah. about, about All right. the trajectory so, kinda changed part. So this is where politics and things in you know, football come now. So like a lot of agents came and you know said that oh they're gonna put me in this team. So an agent had said yo he had a contract with standard delay right mm -hmm. me i tell them i'm diva come on jamaica summer fam I'm day over there the whole summer train and i get prepared and i'm motivated again you see me until mm -hmm. like i start see me i say yo fam what is going on bro my, my resident card i got up and and nothing yet me see the team of train and this agent i go around me ray 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 me ask that kind there jamaica I say yeah, everything good, Ray, 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 cause he really never know. You mm -hmm. see me? It, it come to the end where summer Sudan, resident killed Sudan. You see me? My father did have the Malta link where the most of the Jamaicans were. So I say, oh, if you know, make sense, me go make me, me give up my legal stay. So send me go Malta, let me get my resident card, play the six months or whatever you want me to do over there. Yeah. So I can get the resident card. So that's how I end up at Andrews. Yeah. You see me? Um, at Andrews, um, I was even there long. I was there for maybe two months. And then I went on basically, what do you call it? I was at Fortuna Dusseldorf with, with this with another agent who said, all right, let's go there, train, then we'll pay you black money, right? And then after that, once you do well, they will offer you a contract. So I was at Fortuna. I was even at Andrews that long. So I went to Fortuna Dusseldorf and was training for maybe another seven months with them until the season done. Um, you see me, coach loved me, everything. Give me a program for go do a Jamaica for come back, right? And go home, go do the program on Jamaica, come back. When we sign now, same agent called me to a hotel and go meet in there and come with a contract and everything. Sign. 
the contract that he gave me. And I was so happy about it and and him take a picture and send to me. Me post this now on my Instagram and say, Yo, I'm glad for Ray Ray Ray. The next day, I see, a, I see a tweet from the club or say, Yo, I don't know which contract me sign, but it's not a contract with the club. Mm. You see me? And this blew up everywhere from me. It was everywhere in the world from like everywhere. You see me? So you can imagine how me feel. It's like, I just tell my father, say, Yo, bro, I'm done with ball, brother. Mm. You see me? That told me about 19, 20. I'm telling you, I'm done with ball because I can't take this madness no more. You see me? Yeah. Um, Try again, try again. We'll go, we'll go back to Andrews. Try again, resident card would have to get renewed. Somebody have to go back to Malta. Um, then they are trained the pre season with them. Then another agent comes, say, Oh, he must send me to Alaska. That are Lynn's first team. Mm-hmm. Right? Reach over Lynn's. My name say, All right, then we're going we'll to make you sign with Lynn's, play a couple of games with the second team, and you come back up, play the thing there. Go to Lynn's. Is the same bullshit. Them have this thing named Stars and Friends. Yeah. Where it's an agency where all of them players are signed to. And mm-hmm. them have to play. So me, you know, what come in and them tell us, me cannot play. Because they don't have them thing and thing. So I did it. I don't even get me done. I don't get for play. No, not barely. No get for play. None at all. I'm going to by myself. So again, that is another mental battle I'm going to fight. Yeah. Is it me? And it was just a recurring situation. Just agents and bad deals and me not playing and Jamaica semi not good and is in reality you don't get to see me play. You give me? Yeah. So like mentally it was overwhelming. Yeah. Is it me? And that's when we decide to say, yo, fuck it. All I'm going to do is yo just try to find another way if it does make sense, you see me? And that's when I started keeping events and started doing other stuff business wise. Yeah. Is it uh, we, can, we, can, we can talk about that now because I guess we can talk about that and then talk about, about yeah. football, Russia or something else. Being, being on top, in gang, can you look up and you say, if me in a gang reserve team, I'm going so good and me yeah, I, yeah, me look yeah. like me I get the look in for the first team. Mm-hmm. And then two years, well, that was 2017. Now you're in 2019 and 20 in Austria for about two years and it just not clicking. And yeah. the, trajectory, the, trajectory, the trajectory start look this way now. How yeah. do you feel as a youth to say, oh, just three years ago? I think we're supposed to be at Germany or we're supposed to be somewhere by now. How you feel? No, man, that was, uh, that was, uh, um, it could have taken it both ways. I mean, it could have been motivation that I was there and at that level and I can always get back there yeah. or you make it beat it down. But from how much things did happen in my life, I mean, it, it did nothing but wear me down is it me just call it yeah so I, it's not like somebody just call it i was still training and, and motivated but it, it got to a point where me and my dad relationship was getting so bad because of the constant bad deals bad deals bad yeah. deals bad deals which yeah, was yeah, all yeah. team control you understand yeah. so like me and him relationship was getting very toxic as well is mm-hmm. it me so when i left europe you know nobody no know you know yeah. Just jump on a flight and come here, you know. And at, the, at that time, you, you did a play professionally, so you have some money in your bank. You can, you yeah. can do your own thing. Yeah. But if you yeah. come back, and was it the money, was it, because some people say, I was watching a TikTok, you know, I was told about a TikTok that did go viral about you and things you accomplish or whatever. And somebody there say, yo, under the comment section, there was this big battle. Some people mm-hmm. saying, that is money. Other people saying, no, this money work hard. So for doing no, man, let me tell you, um, going with straight up honest with you. Yes. Me, let me tell you, see, once you're not making, once you don't have an income, you know, matter how much money you have, it will done. Yes. It? So, so me did have some savings, of course, but eventually it would have done. Mm-hmm. It? So, I would have invested in the music, I would have to shoot a bag of video, I would have to find a way. So, this three years now, me there. So, I was here, 
you was operating on 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 gas. Cause my mom and I have support from my father. I have support from Leon. I have support from my mother like that. Not like that. It's really just me out there find a way. You see me? But and I've been in this. I say as a big man as twenty. You see, I've been in this. Yeah, man. Yeah. You see me? So like. It's really now just really hard work and determination or really make me build back myself up. You see me? Cause I get some super deals recently, music yeah. wise. I get, you see me? So like, me have money in my pocket now. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. But, so, but it wasn't always like that. Yeah, where, man, like, so how, how, where did you, you know, where did the source the startup capital? Like, like what? Did, yeah. Really, you yeah, can't even say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I found a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understood. I um, a question that I had, I mean, never even know the conversation that I reach us so. mm -hmm. Does chasing the dream make sense? You know, the pro dream. Are you in a Jamaica right now are playing at under 17? You know, yes, I play, I play sense. with Central. Because, because let me tell you. You have a lot of players in the national team now that are that are making the jump. Yeah. And um Jamaica is getting more respected for um, having good footballers. Before it wasn't like that. Um so yes, it does make sense if you do make the jump and you do stick your path and follow the trajectory, you can you can make it in life and help your mother and help everybody where you can think of is me so all right and and just a, just a little bit on the music we are, we are come to an end now we do a, a, a good synopsis a little bit on the music um mm -hmm. you, you said growing up you always it was football it was only football we heard the same thing from yeah. them i'm pretty sure that's what many of these other young phoenix and jamaican players alexander good we spoke to him sakon satchel spoke to him some of these stop ballers yeah. all they have on their mind is football and i personally don't think that's a bad thing at what point did you you know I, you said that 1920, 21, you started to see that it probably wasn't going to be football for you. At what yeah. point did you identify that it was going to be entertainment and music? At what point? I did not identify to be that. Um, I always loved music. I was always the person to play music in the changing room and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, it's really God, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. God really just put me around some people and I just tried, bro. I tried everything you can think of, is me? So it's really God really show me a way and let me have a way and let me can even come back to football as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, and I'm still young, is me? So yeah. it's not like... Talk about, you talk about Edward Mendy, that's the Chelsea keeper, right? No, he mm -hmm. would have stopped playing football from about 24 to 26. And he start by playing at 26, 27, and know him one of the best goalkeepers them in the whole entire world. So definitely not too late, you know. Yeah, so man. what what is Kyle Butler doing now? Kyle Butler, the professional um, footballer, and how do you balance your profession as a producer, as a as a music maker, as a music producer, and your profession as a footballer? How do you balance that right now? Consider um, what what I do is that um, I'm here now with Phoenix. I'm helping her out with the academy and a whole with the development side with the players with the coaching and also um training as well and getting fit and getting sharp so whatever happens you know this is where i am in my life whatever opportunity comes up i'll be ready is it me mm. but i'm also managing my businesses um with music i will go to training during the day go to the studio at night sleep throughout the day you know do what I need to do during the day, go to training again and stuff. So it's really about time management. And you learn a lot about that in Europe as well. Yeah. Do you think it's possible to do both? Be one of Jamaica's successful producers and reinvent yourself as a professional footballer? Yeah, man, it is possible. And the thing with, with music, you know, you, you can have a team as well working. So, I mean, I'm just setting up the business to a, to a level where it can succeed even when i'm not there you see me so i've and done a lot of the foundation work um i still have a lot of the ideas and plans for the future so and doing all of that now um business football 
How do you manage to balance family? You know what? Me and Rush, again, we use ourselves as example, 24 years old. We, de yeah. as we definitely aspire for looking, to, you know, uh, becoming husbands to somebody's daughter, you know, having, having yeah. children and having a family and expanding and doing our own thing. How is it that you find a time to balance that important personal life and family life as a big man with the business, with the football? <laughs> um... Um, you know, I find, I find time for it. I feel like my downtime is very important. So, like, as Leon would say, if, if him gone out or him really take them time this serious. Um, I've been with, spending a lot of time with my dad and, and, and this side of the family because for three years I wasn't necessarily involved with family mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. So, like, now I've been spending a lot of time with them, going to the beach and stuff like that. And really appreciating the time even more now, because I've been away for so long, um, with with relationships and all of that. Um, it works same way, mm -hmm. you know. Them link me either after studio or before studio. A difficult personal question: Would you consider yourself a prodigal son? Mm. I would have said that. <laughs> I would have said that. I would have said that. So. All right. Um, so two more things. We're going to talk about the national team and all of that. And we know you have a little stint that your father described as the greatest 15 yes. minutes of football played by a Jamaican. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to talk about it. And then we're going to do a little rapid fire yeah, yeah, um, yeah. at the end of playing a little game and thing. All right. So the mm. first one, you got called up to the under 23s um, in the yeah. Olympic qualifiers a couple years mm. ago. I think about maybe two years ago. Yeah. And what was that like when you got that call? You know, every youth want to play for him country. Every youth want done them colors there. And what was that call like? And how did you feel? I felt, I felt, um, I was really, really happy because um, I wanted to represent Jamaica all my life, and this was an opportunity to show myself to Jamaica. Is it me? Um, I was familiar with a lot of the players there, like Alex and monkey and all of them so like when i went in it was like family same way and he had a couple of players there that actually looked up to me mm -hmm. so like that's where you now the leadership role came in so like i became more of a leader within that team mm -hmm. you me? but you know corruption in jamaica with more forward and corrupt the thing again you see me because normally i would i was a starting player you see me i was set to start all the games and when him come the training session before the game, I was put to the side. Mm. You see me? Um, that's why I'm not like him. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, when I played though, when I got the opportunity, I knew I had limited time to mm -hmm. show what I can do. And I just gave my all. I never stopped running. Mm -hmm. I did everything I could. And yeah, it really but... did, did, um, like the, the feedback from that game was very, 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 very positive. Mm -hmm. See me? And then yeah, no, yeah. they just go pull our next card down the line and have a U twenty two team and they'll include me in it. And mm -hmm. then all over the media again. So like with the JFF and then was even on talk shows and all of that trying it so they just found ways to anytime I went up. They just found a way for us to kill, kill whatever momentum or anything yeah. like going on. Right. Me? And, and when I was looking at that team, and there were mm. some players, more, more you talk about this for me. You was Kyle Butler playing in, in Europe, you know, you've been to the German, you've been to the, the Belgiums and the Austria, right? Mm. But then you look at a team where you have Tyreek McGee, you have Kaim Paris, you have Javian Brown. Yeah, yeah, Alex Marshall. All players that you would have been playing at a higher level at that time, they would mm -hmm. they would have just been coming out of schoolboy football. But then right now, when you look at it, all those players that who's not playing in Europe, you know, Tyreek Maggie and Kyle Paris, he's playing in the MLS, Javier Brown is playing in Canada, Alex Marshall. Um, when mm -hmm. you look back at that, those players got introduction into the national team. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't shortly after that under 23 too, we didn't see Kyle Pola, you know, pushed into the national team like those players that were put in the national team. Why was that? Why you think that happened? Why was that? It's because of the, of, the, of the fight we've been getting over the years. You see me? So it's not necessarily about the the personnel. In, it's really 
where you are and who, who they're going to push. You see me? Alex has been in the national setup for a long time before that. Same mm -hmm. as Maggie, same as um, Trigger. All of them have been in the national setup for a long time. But as I said, it's a money thing. When you sell players, the money goes back to you. Players get a national call up or they get to play with the national team. They get exposure. So as I said, it's a money thing. I respond to this. You me? So for... Yeah, man, finish, finish your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, um, for Phoenix, where we're trying to eradicate corruption, we're trying to, um, you know, have a different style of play, just fully, it, it won't work. Yeah. Isn't it? And especially Craig Butler's son, who would want to see that? <laughs> <laughs> no, the last name, the man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there was a rumor. I never asked mm -hmm. you because know, I, I was big into it. I was reading all of these rumors. Mm -hmm. It was rumored that your Liam Bailey's call up was being tied to your call. That there was that rumor that say, yo, if Liam never complain, Kyle have a complain too. Is that true? What, what happened? No, 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 no. That that was not that's not true. None at all. None at all, none at all, none at all, none at all. Chippy himself never won't come down. Is it me? Oh, yeah. yeah. But um Pre this, the Jamaica Premier League, what do you think about the level? Um, they're, they're in, in terms of what? In terms of for the national team? Yeah. Not high enough. Not okay. High enough. So if you had a player playing in Europe, wouldn't you even consider him to come down for a training and no, see no, what no, he'll no. play like? Yeah, for sure. And especially yes, at the level that like you were Why playing. did the national team neglect me from coming and training with them then? Even though I was playing in Europe. No clue. No for, clue. For right? Amount of years. So that was a, was a talking point, and we even had a meeting with when name Dalton. When what do you look a shiny Dal man? Dalton Wint. Dalton Wint. Yeah, we had a meeting with him, and that man tell me me need to go play Bundesliga first mm -hmm. before him can justify or or say the level where me a play at is 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 good enough. What? And he had players that are playing Premier League in Jamaica, not even scoring ten goals. Is it me? Same thing with all of the players that were in Malta. You had Martin got the player of the year in Malta. Schalke get player of the month and thing there. And none of them got a called up, even though they were playing at a higher level than the Jamaica Premier League. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to skip back to that. The, the, the Gen Sec. Look for yes. you and say, you have to go play in a Bundesliga for wearing the Yes, color. like Leon. We had a meeting with him, Dalton. So nice. Shining man with the glasses. Him. That was so nice. So do you think do you think had Leon Bailey not made so like for example had he not gone to, to Leverkusen and he'd gone to say Andale, and if and he Andale, just, yeah if he just stay do you think no 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 I, I felt like the, the time for him to leave was was then no 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 him. I'm saying what if he didn't make that move to Germany do you think Leon, Leon Bailey would still not have gotten called up to play for Jamaica if he never got Germany if Leon yeah. Bailey was just a little bit less good do you think he would have eventually gotten the Jamaican call up, or I think they wouldn't have called him up. I think, let me tell you why Leon got called up. He got called up because the whole nation was was fighting. Yeah. And if he wasn't for that, Leon would not play for the national team. Mm. Believe it or not, the whole nation did I say, why the ball Leon now play Ray, Ray, Ray? The whole pressure that the JFF came under from Chippy hmm. is why he played. Gotcha. Believe me, but if you could have blocked him for the rest of his life or had a reason to, they would. Yeah. Damn. And the final one on the JFF. Mm -hmm. We'll speak to Greg Butler. He said two things about the JFF. I have to say it to you. He said JFF's poor relationship with him son. Mm -hmm. In terms of him and him son, he said JFF calls Kyle Butler for just give up, for, for stop playing football. JFF calls that and tapa. We need you as Kyle Butler to respond to that. Um, when you say spoil relationship with Leon, first no, of all, with you, with you, with you, with me, yeah, oh, JFF, why you and him, have a, why you and him, uh, you and his relationship, we'll never be the same. Yeah. He says it that like Kyle is his favorite son, he says it's because of the JFF, why, yeah, because bro, really the JFF favorite. had my name swinging in the in the media negatively, cunt, on a, on a regular, bro, you see me, um, saying shit like, like, oh. If I don't get called up, chipping up, playing all of them foolishness, bro. Like, that is so untrue. 
Mm. You see me? So like all of them thing that did a cause problems with me and him. You see me? So like JFF. I, I say just football and a whole cause a lot of mental problems with me, bro. Like it was very mentally challenging and I was never want to sacrifice my mental health because of that. You understand? Sure, gotcha. Sure. But yeah, JFF was a main part for sure, for sure, for sure. If 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 it was if things were different and they were fair, yeah, then maybe my trajectory would have been different as well, and my relationship with my dad would be different as well. Well, ninety eight to one though. So yeah, ninety eight. God's willing, still have a lot more years to mend all the things that have been broken down. Part two to this video, by the way, Carl Butler, is on this side of Sports TV versus. Yeah, we have to take on Carl Butler. We have to set that up. For the same one, I feel that I'm not sure if you saw the one we did with Jerome the Guthrie, we did on Simon first time. We definitely have to do one with Simon, because my friend is Shabala still, man. The people I already know say Jerome are the baddest keep up on the YouTube space. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, like, so, like, yeah, Ryan, so, Ryan, I've got something to say about that. So, Ryan, you can't, you can't keep. So, so we definitely have to link up and we do some football challenge. You've seen the Chris MDs with Ben Foster and so on and so forth. You've seen it done in, yeah, man. in Europe. That's definitely something that we want to get into. But before we close out the video, we have to do our customary rapid fire questions. So we just pick your mind, you know, some this or that, some what would you prefer, some favorite, so on and so forth. So, yeah, get right into All it. right. First one, easy one. Your favorite thing to eat? Food. Pasta. 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 What kind of pasta? <laughs> do you like? Where do you like your pasta done? Um, chicken and shrimp Alfredo, man. Alfredo. Yes. And, and you as a man, remember, you did there Europe and you experienced the steaks and the fillet. You, you experienced all of that and pasta is still your favorite. Still my favorite. Yeah, we love it. Then my you got up a beer. Must have been twenty five dollars. And then for you, not for me. All right. Um, a question where we we'll always like to ask: the biggest debate in football, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. That is it. Wrong <laughs> answer. Simple. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> all right. All right. You see, if football wasn't based on stats, yeah, nobody would even consider Ronaldo one of the greatest. For Where sure, for I sure. Yeah, Messi, 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 Take away that stats and you watch a football match with Ronaldo, you will not be in the game. And the thing about it is, Mikhail, <laughs> the stats for Messi is ridiculous to it. Ridiculous. Say, in addition to the fact that, that no? when you watch the two of them play, one is just clearly better. All right, so two and one right now. So I have to make a Ronaldo case. So just make a, <laughs> you hear And talent, we know that Messi is more talented. But based on what Ronaldo did with the talent that he got and what Messi did with the talent that he got, but I have to give Ronaldo the edge. Anyways, next, next question. Next question. <laughs> next question. We're, we're going to have the one there in the part two. Where, where is your favorite place in Jamaica? Favorite place? That's a good question. I like, I like the I like Made in Key, but um, Ochi. Ochi. Ochi on the North Coast. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, we, know, we, know that, we, we know that you're a producer. Favorite genre of music? Um, I, I enjoy dance or hip-hop. Hip-hop, so... Let me, um, let me tell you with me as well. You see, my environment have a lot to do with the music I listen to. Because yeah, yeah. if I... Bro, I remember when I was in Europe and we did a list and a lot of house music was playing, I was like, man, I listen to whole heap of house music and rap mm -hmm. and all of them things. But since I come back to Jamaica, I don't even know the new songs like that any again anymore. One time as a song or album drop, I know it. But. All right, watch you know. You're in the music, you know. So we forgot to mm. ask you this. Who are the king of the answer? I have to ask you that. New and, age. And I listen, I listen. <laughs> who are the dancer right now? Who are the, the all-time king of the answer? Yeah. If you get cartel in respect, man. Um, sure. Right, you can't tell the king. And, and right now, top dancer. Yeah. Like, we, we, you probably have to go be biased. You probably have to go lie to it. And tell you how it's going. Currently, like, who are the king right now? Yeah, yeah. right now. Valiant of the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go around that. Can't go around, yeah, yeah, go around that right now. One artist where you'd love to work with. Mm. Locally? Generally. Yeah. Anywhere, man. Anywhere? Yeah, man. Jake. Only well, for people watch this area, you know. I get there. I get there. I'm saying uh, Drake. Drake, Drake. Drake. When you get one Drake song, we're good for life, you know. I know that. <laughs> Watch this now. Music or football? 
Definitely football is my first love from. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for football, I would not have a career in music. That's right. Watch this mm -hmm. now. See you drive up, drive a whole heap of Jeep. The people them see you. Jeep mm -hmm. or Benz? How we know them Start to it. Two different drives still. Oh, yeah, have a which one, one you prefer? I want drive for the rest of your life. I prefer? Yeah. For comfort, I would go with a Benz. Um, is it because even though me have a BMW, I prefer driving than a Jeep. Just I because of comfort. But like if more show off one day, yeah, the Jeep, the Jeep, I would jump out the door and one of the Jeep them. Oh yeah. gosh, what? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, my Jeep them full yeah. of image. But just for comfort wise, when I'm... A, co a country that, 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 Go on, man. that you have to travel to before you're dead. That you've yet to travel to. Bali, Mongo. What are that there? Bali. I think that they come to Asia side. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. But we'll see the pictures. We'll see the pictures. Are we here about the place? Oh, yeah, the Maldives. I need to go over there. All right, all right. Watch this now. And this is probably a good one to round it out. The nicest woman. Come on, you see Jamaican woman. You see the European woman. You know the American woman. You know the, <laughs> the nicest woman. Talk to me. Um, I don't know if you know Kyle, what you are saying, Kyle. I love Jamaican women. <laughs> and I love the culture. But like, yeah. we are top, bro. Like, I would marry a Jamaican woman for sure yeah. because of the culture, home yeah. skills, all of that, right? And mindset yeah. and all of that. But you see, Arab women, bro. Like, Bad. Commit, yeah, bro. If they mix up and thing. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and, and last one. We didn't do a video last last year and them them kill the punish. Them kill the rush punish. They get me answer. The question was asked. Love or money. They get me answer. If you had to choose one and go without the other perpetually for the rest of your life. Rush choose money, you know. Yeah, man, I remind the people. Say <laughs> rush choose money. So people just pan up with their beat. Oh, yeah, so you choose. You choose love? I think you choose love. love. You're mad. <laughs> you love, fam. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no man, give, give me, give me, give me, give me my my girl when I'm in a in a cardboard box on the roadside. Me and my girl. Let me sing to you, brother. Give me money. I'll buy everything. I'm more. I can't buy one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah go on. Buy fake love, man. Buy fake love. <laughs> say, you play play love just as much. Believe me. <laughs> I'm loyal to see him. Yeah, can them feel? Watch enough. When it's a word, they feel the same way, enough. Yeah, you feel the same way. Is it true? Yeah, you feel it the same way, fam. Yeah, man. I just that one I got done. But at least, at least people now they can beat Kyle Butler and Rush. <laughs> at least yeah. Rush get some company for getting beat now. So <laughs> Yo, Kyle, yeah, respect you, know, brother. Um, long time coming. You know, we've been a work on it. Most step. Pro the way I do with Phoenix. You see, I take up a coaching now. I will see you actually active in it. And I do well. Yeah, yeah. You dip on the sidelines. You did the coaching sessions that you run them. So, we, we, we're happy for the man can, you know, playing football tell me, and coaching. Tell me some about said Joe, man. So, I want a right back and a left back at least. Is it? Yeah, because we've been a try. <laughs> we've been a try to tell him to play. We, we've been a try to tell him to play with him. I've been telling the man, say, yo, the players don't need to be that high. Them can <laughs> You see me? They can play a real right wing back on a right wing. Yeah. <laughs> you see me? But, yeah, that exists. But let me tell you, you have to be a little crazy in this life to be an inventor. You see me? So, that is what my dad is. So, can't worry him because he's crazy work sometimes. <laughs> you see me? Anything you see do at work, I swear. I even know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, but as me I say, Kyle, much thanks, brother. We appreciate it. Um, People are going to watch this and they're going to They can send one final message to the people. Tell them what, what to look out for from Kyle Butler. If you want to plug your music and dynasty, do it real quick. All right. For, yeah, man. From Just look out for um new projects from me. Look out for me being involved with the Phoenix Academy. Look out for me being involved in the agent side of football. Um, opening a new restaurant soon. You guys are going to see that so Puno can forward. And to big up to this or that sports TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Them money yeah. work. Hard for them, them they are every morning cup game, giving them a report, post games, interview, all of that. So, yo, big up to the man, they want to work hard and have a dream. Is it me? Support, subscribe to them channel, and yeah, let's do it. All right.
Yeah, man, like, as I said, Carl, one of them there, you know, I'm um, texting you before the pump, one of the equipment. Okay, I put on the boots, that. Yeah, put on back the gears. Because we're going to take off the yeah, gears, they, but we're going to put on back the gears and come take on Kai Butler. I showed sure that this is a lot sports TV, I still the baddest. Kind of a day, I'm running the clear than I am. The baddest, the baddest football <laughs> TV fan the YouTube. But as we say, until them time, they're going to come about that. Thanks again for coming on. All yeah, right. man. Miss Kyle, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave the stream. I'm going to take you over, don't leave the stream. We're going to end the video and I have something to say to you, all right? All right. Yeah. yeah. People, there you have it, there you have him, Kyle Butler. Um, good one, bro. I know it would be a good reason. That so many things to talk about. We, are, we leave so many stones, you know, unturned. No, man, but they have to be a part two. It must be a part two. You know, it's always it's always great to talk about the journey. For sure. You know, because... Especially with such an eventful one. Too. Yeah, bro. You go Europe and we see at the, we see at the top. We hear about Kyle Butler, Kyle Butler and Leah Bailey rising like this. And they would just say Leah Bailey take the next step. I wouldn't know what would Kyle Butler. And, and, and we just find out and, corruption and, and politics. You, you, you know how it go, bro. In life, you have ups and downs, you know. And everybody ending might not be the ending that one anticipated. But Kyle Butler is well and truly on his way to be in line with the, where you said the Zimmy them and the Das Hake of them. Yeah. Like, you can see that that's the trajectory that he's heading down. And, and it's... It's all it's all one story. Yeah, you know, yeah. so Leon Bailey is achieving success, being one of the best footballers in the world. And Carl Butler is well on his way to be one of the top Jamaican um people involved with music. And we, we like the fork, we like the diversion, we like the success, we love the story, and I'm so happy that he said it here. There we go. Um people, don't forget if you like the video, like the video, leave a comment on this one and subscribe to this channel. Bro, all if them TV. don't like the video, still like the video. They like the video. They like it. They like the video. Like people just like the video. <laughs> just like the video. Do one more thing, bro. Share the video for at least 10 people. But for this very, very special episode, get us seven subscribers. Because if each one of you guys can do that, you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day, people. And a lie, and a lie. People, this is another interview. This is another football talk. You will say interview, bro. Football talk. That's what yeah, I'm nah. saying. Football talk. Bad reason. I probably got the show on name still. Bad reason. Bad reason. No, but I lie. Never lie. <laughs> Anyways, people, like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Do the whole lot. This was this that sports TV. I will. Yes, sir.